Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use your iPad with your MacBook on Zoom to really use your iPad as a document camera. Um, so the first step is making sure that your iPad is plugged in to your MacBook via from the lightning here into the USB on your MacBook. Now, keep in mind, if you haven't done this yet, you're going to want to go into Finder and select your iPad on the left-hand side and make sure you hit the blue trust button on both your MacBook and your iPad. After you do that, you, and you only have to do that once, after you do that, you can go into share screen and select iPhone, iPad via cable and select share. From here, we're going to be using the camera app. So I'm gonna tap on the camera app and I'm gonna make sure Photos is selected. You'll notice that if we choose Video, that you're going to get the black bars and you don't really want that. So you're going to make sure Photo is selected, you get the full screen, and now I can just simply annotate underneath. Now, I'm on a whiteboard table, so I can actually use this whiteboard table to annotate underneath. Now I'm gonna show you real quick kind of the setup here. This is a gooseneck table clamp stand tablet stand and what's nice about this is it's extremely flexible so you can move this up and down and move it around to where you need um, so that is just one option let me show you a different option another option that I absolutely love is this very DIY version uh, I was cleaning out my shed a couple months ago found a bunch of these things in there and kind of cleaned them up a little bit and now they work as my document camera tablet holder. You have to position it so that you are not seeing, you can see the, the bars there, you have to make sure your camera is sitting between in the squares and then underneath here, I can simply write. So that's just another interesting option and I'm sure there's plenty others that we can think of.